Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. Before I begin the video, I would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a telnet server on Kali Linux and how it can be accessed from another uh, system. Now remember that telnet is not a secure protocol for remote access. It's um, It sends the username and passwords in clear text. So um any adversary or attacker who is running a sniffer like wireshark tcp dump or some other sniffer it can easily capture your um packets and the login credentials of telnet <clears throat> uh however the purpose of demonstrating this video is that you know uh you may have to use it for some um demonstration purposes so let's get started so the first thing you need to do is to install um, Telnet X init D as well as Telnet D, right? All right, so these are the two services that we are going to install. X in it D and Telnet D. Just gonna take a few seconds to to install. All right, it's done. <clears throat> the next thing that you want to do is that um, you need to modify this configuration file slash etc in it d dot conf. Now, if you scroll down, you will find Telnet stream TCP no wait root. So I'm using VI editor. You can use any editor that you like. So I just simply uncomment this particular line here to enable the TC Telnet service. All right. <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, Let's restart the init D service and let's check if it's working or not, right? So slash etc init.d x init d restart, right? So this is the command to restart the x init d service. Next, I'm going to check if my uh, port 23 is open. No surprise, you can see that <clears throat> My port 23 is open as Telnet uses port 23. The command to check is ss hyphen nltp. Basically, it shows you the socket which is open, the whether it's in the listening state or not, and the port number and everything. All right, so this is how you can check whether a certain service is running or not. Okay. Um, that was pretty simple and straightforward. Now let's try to test if the telnet is actually working or not working. So I'm going to go to PuTTY in my Windows operating system. Let's check the IP address of uh, Kali. It's 36.133. I'm going to copy it. Paste it here, click on the Telnet. So as you can see, I have selected the Telnet service from port 23 and click open. You can see here that I've got a login. I'll say root and tour and there we go. We are logged into uh, the Kali from a Windows machine. So this is how easy it is to set up the Telnet server. I've got a lot of um, questions regarding how we can set up the telnet uh, because usually telnet doesn't come pre-installed in kali and then um, i mean as a client of course you can use telnet to if you're trying to access another machine from kali but <clears throat> um, let me just also show you something so let's try to open wireshark in kali all right uh let's open putty in windows 
I'm going to start capturing on ETH0. I'm going to put the Kali Linux IP address here, and then I'm going to telnet root tour. And there we go. So it's just to show you that the telnet contains the username and passwords in the clear text, right? So we can filter out the telnet data here. And if I just follow the TCP stream, uh, you can see here the username is root and the password is tour. When it's weird, it shows a lot of O here, but you can see here that the username and password is actually in the clear text and that's why we are able to see it in the Wireshark capture, right? So this is an easy tutorial on how to configure Telnet and how to capture the username and passwords. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please send me the questions in the comments box. Thank you.